So we're going to rewind back to May 2021. Um, we were joking at the start of this session that, you know, a couple of weeks before Catalyst 2030, 2021, we started, there were a lot of emails firing around, around there's some amazing youth sessions happening at Catalyzing Change Week. Um, but we're looking and wanting to build more moments for connection. And so it was incredible to have uh, a number of the Catalyst 2030 members come together and host a launch of the Youth Empowerment Circle in May of last year. And it kicked off four sessions of intergenerational exchange, where basically we had around four to five youth speakers uh, joining in collaboration from an institutional representative, just to hear their expectations and what they feel they need for youth empowerment in the future and in the present. And this, one of the first sessions to start this off was looking at meaningful, helping youth to take a meaningful role in decisions affecting their future. So I'd love to give the floor first to uh, Bethany, Bethany Jennings from Children and All Policies 2030, one of the co-leads of this circle, who will share a bit about her experience in the context of those first sessions and what she has learned since then. So Bethany, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Ed, um, and thank you for having me. It's um, I'm just always so inspired by these sessions because it's um, it's just incredible to see the number of young people making, you know, all around the world making real change. Um, yeah, as Ed said, I'm I'm part of Children in All Policies or CAP 2030 for short, um, and we launched just over a year ago um, with the aim to to ensure that children's, children and young people's needs um, are at the heart of all policies and that policies are created to allow children and young people to thrive. So we do this through coalition building um, and through supporting partners um, in implementing different projects around the world. And if you want to learn more about us, you can go to our website. Um, but from the beginning, we were really committed to um, learning from young people, to have um, children and young people really involved in what we do. Um, but as we were exploring the area of participation, you know, we found that this is actually easier said than done, and we wanted to do it well. We didn't, you know, we didn't just want to um, say we were doing it. So, so we came um, with these questions um, to the Youth Empowerment Circle. We asked, um, how can we ensure meaningful participation? You know, what are the steps we can take? How do we avoid tokenism? And um, the session was just really amazing and having a really lively um, and informative discussion and about um, what young people, what you um, felt we needed to do. Um, and it's really shaped um, CAP 2030 as an organization. So we're really encouraged by just how much interest there was, you know, just how much um, young people were really um, excited and interested about uh, about what we were doing. Um, and we were just reminded how how there are many different ways young people could be involved, but we we needed to make sure that we demonstrated that that was being done um, and uh, and that we were taking on these voices and we were listening to them. Um, and we were reminded that that young people just have so much to offer and so often are leading the way in areas that, you know, that we said we're concerned about. Um, but then also, um, as I as said, you know, there was this this real um, desire that came across for for people to link and for there to be more spaces um, for young people to speak into. Um, and so I think that's that's been a really exciting um, sort of progression of how how the the youth empowerment um, circle has has grown over the last year. Um, and yet, so these are just some of the things that struck me. But just to say that that really was, you know, a very um, meaningful and formative um, beginning. Um, and so just to give you a bit of an example of what something that we're doing. So one of our main concerns is uh, the issue of harmful 
um, commercial marketing to children. And, you know, as we're considering, considering this area, we have been looking at what young people have already said. So what consultations have already happened? We've been in conversation with a youth-led organisation that's, that's been really at the heart of this area. Um, and we're looking for more connections and more um, input from young people such as yourselves. And we're going to continue doing that. So, yeah, so we've had first-hand experience of just how powerful this network is and, and, and everything that um, can achieve. And I just think that um, I'm just really excited to see what the future holds. Thank you. Thanks so much, uh, Bethany. And um, we're great. We're so glad to have CAP 2030 on board for another year of this collaboration, collaborative circle. And indeed, one of our youth council members who's here with us, Almaz, uh, was speaking, I believe, at one of the launch, possibly, of CAP 2030 last year. So it's nice to see some of the weaves uh, being sewn uh, together, which is absolutely wonderful.